Oh, kids, I think there's something fishy going on with the Grinch. He's sneaking around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I see our first repeller up there, and who could it be? Well, of course, it's the one and only Mrs. Claus. That's Santa. He's not only a jolly guy, but he's a gentleman, and it's always ladies first with Santa Claus. So here she comes, leading the way for the rest of our repellers, making sure everything's safe for her man, Santa Claus. This is not Mrs. Claus's first time coming down this building. She's getting to be a real pro at this. And here she comes, waving to all you good boys and girls out there. She seems to be having a good time. You know, her and Santa are celebrating their 465th wedding anniversary this month. It's incredible. And they look so young and vibrant. I don't know how she has time to do this repelling when she's got to take care of all those elves and make sure Santa gets plenty of rest before his big night out on Christmas Eve delivering toys and presents to all the good boys and girls out there. I think she's got a guest coming down with her. And here comes one of her elves. That's Aaron the Elf joining Mrs. Claus. Look at them swinging. They look happy. Yes, Aaron is now managing one of the workshops up at the North Pole. So he is uh, doing a great job. This is his first time coming down the building. He's graduated to a repeller. Congratulations, Elf Aaron. And he's such a good elf that he is escorting Mrs. Santa down the building. The other elf coming down the building now is our elf, Elf Brian. Elf Brian flying off the building, swinging around. He's got a lot of responsibility up at the North Pole. In fact, Brian the Elf is the general manager of all of Santa's facilities, making toys for all the good little boys and girls out there. He's out there all year long looking for special elves to sign up to draft to be part of Santa's team each and every year. And Elf Aaron and Mrs. Claus are just about down the building. Elf Brian loves climbing down this building every single year. He told me it's one of his favorite things. Uh-oh. Who do I see coming down the building now? Oh, no. It's the Grinch. The Grinch is my nemesis. Every year he steals Santa's bag from me. He's a mean one. That Mr. Grinch. Always trying to mess with Santa Claus and Brian the Elf. There goes Brian. I don't blame Brian for trying to stay away from the Grinch. He's always giving Elf Brian a hard time. Probably just taunting the boys and girls out there. Telling them I'm going to take Santa's presence again this year. But we always foil his plan. Boom. Grinch. That's what I've got to say. Boo to the Grinch. But they know he's, I mean, when there he is swinging off the building, Elf Brian's just about all the way down. This Grinch. Every year, I don't know how he sneaks into this repel every year. They've tried to keep him out. They keep an eye out for him. They have the police guarding Santa's bag of toys, but every single year, the Grinch somehow makes off with it. Wait a minute. What's he doing? Oh, I told you the Grinch was sneaky. Now he's hiding on the side of the building. He's just hiding and waiting because you know who's coming down. I'm looking up the building. I see a red nose flashing, and that could be none other than Santa's favorite reindeer. And you know who that is, boys and girls. That's Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Here he comes bouncing off because you know who leads the way whenever Santa's in town, and that's Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. So wherever Rudolph is, Santa Claus cannot be far behind. Look at that red nose shining, leading the way. Ah, he's a special reindeer, that Rudolph. It was many years ago that Rudolph saved that Christmas Eve for Santa Claus. 
when the fog was so thick that only Rudolph's red nose could guide Santa. I just looked and I saw the Grinch peeking around the side of the building. I don't know if he's waiting there for Rudolph and Santa to come down, but he's always up to something sneaky. Here's Rudolph waving to what? Who is that I see at the top of the building? It is none other than our favorite, Santa Claus. Oh, and Santa's got his bag filled with toys. Well, that's good. That means the Grinch didn't get a hold of them. Santa and Rudolph high-fiving like they always do each year. Here they go, flying off the building. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, and Santa Claus, that old Kris Kringle. There's no better team than Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, and Santa Claus. I see somebody peeking around the building. Yes, it's the Grinch, hiding as he always does. I hope Santa's got a good grip on that bag, because Grinch will do anything to steal away those toys and make all the boys and girls sad. Uh-oh, here comes the Grinch and Santa yelling at him and Rudolph. Every year he tries to get away with this. The Grinch is taunting Santa. Ah, Santa got him there, pushing the Grinch away. He's not gonna get that bag this year. Ah, the Grinch foiled again. And there goes the Grinch. Once again, Santa and Rudolph have won that battle. There they go, waving. Oh, look at them flipping backwards. That's why Rudolph is Santa's favorite reindeer. He's the most acrobatic of all the reindeers. There, there goes Rudolph, and there goes Santa. Santa waving to the crowd. And there he goes, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. That's it. Santa has reached the ground. Him and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We'd like to thank all our repellers this year, the whole gang. After the rappel, there's still work to be done, as Santa, Mrs. Claus, and his trusty elves have one more mission. Light the Stanford downtown Christmas tree and officially ring in the holiday season. Five, four, three, two, one. And we flip it. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.